Hello guys, in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you step by step how to create an ultimate music box using a Raspberry Pi. It will support Apple's AirPlay and Spotify Connect. The things you will need are a Raspberry Pi, preferably a Raspberry Pi 3 as shown in the picture. If you use an older Raspberry Pi you will be either stuck with using an Ethernet connection or with buying a Wi-Fi adapter. The second thing you will need is a micro SD card, 8GB or higher. Micro SD cards with fewer space may not be supported. You will also need a computer with either a micro SD card slot or an adapter. Optional is a DAC, like this HiFiBerry DAC, which improves the sound quality of the Raspberry Pi. The first thing we will do is open Safari or another browser and type in, in volumio.org. I will link it in the description as well. Just hit download on the main page and then click on download on the download sector. It will be automatically the Raspberry Pi version. The next problem, uh, program we will need is Etcher. Just type in etcher.io and you will be instantly prompted with a download button. Just download it and uh, after that just unzip the volume your image and go through the Etcher installation process. The next step is flashing the image onto the SD card. For that we will open Etcher as well and select the image. You will have to search where you downloaded it. Note that if you do the installation all the files that were on the SD card will be deleted. You can select your device, your, like your SD card or your SD card reader. Then click on flash. The next step is setting up the Raspberry Pi. For that, put the micro SD card which you flashed into the slot. It won't click or anything, just push it in fully. Then you have to power it up using a micro, SD, micro USB cable. Just push it in. The Raspberry Pi doesn't have a um, on switch or anything like that. You can also already put in your audio cable. Um, if you have a DAC you can do it. Uh, you can set this up as well. After you let the Raspberry Pi boot up for a couple of minutes, connect to the Volumio hotspot. It will be automatically created if you have a Raspberry Pi 3 on Raspberry Pi with a Wi-Fi dongle. Then go through the installation progresses here. Just type in your name. You will reach your Volumio device through this link. Just type in your name and yeah, this is the link and type in, uh, take next. Here you can select your audio output. I'm just using the audio jack. If you have a DAC or something, you can select that. Next again. And then you have to connect to your Wi-Fi by typing in the password. If you finish the setup progress, the Raspberry Pi will be connected to this Wi-Fi. If you have any local disk, you can select these here, but it's not necessary. Just click next again and then the progress will be done. The setup is now done. Just connect to your Wi-Fi again. and type in your browser, type in volumio.local or the name you chose, .local. Now I'm going to show you how to install plugins. Just hit the settings icon, then type plugins and then you can see the available plugins. I'm just downloading Spotify here and I'm speeding up the process because it may take up to 10 minutes. As you can see on the bottom, there's also a Spotify Connect plugin um, just click on install and this will work as well. Here you can see the plugin installation is done. If you want to activate your installed plugins, click the settings icon, go to plugins and to install plugins. Here you can see I already switched on my plugins and they are active. 
the Spotify Connect plugin just will be set up automatically. So if you go to your Spotify, you can just hit Volumio or whatever you named your Pi. The Apple AirPlay plugin is automatically installed. You won't have to do anything for it. Here you can see I am just can click on here and select my Pi device as a sound output. So um, this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you liked it and um, see you next time.